Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you have you guys are having a great day. Um, so in this video, we're going to be continuing with the lab setup for our SCCM installation. And what we're going to do in this video is our DHCP configurations, so our dynamic host configuration protocol, which is what allows us to give out IP reservations to um, machines on our in our network or clients in our network. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, but all right, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so we are on in our uh, DHCP server and then we're going to go ahead and log into our domain with the password we've created. So there we go. And we are going to then go to tools or sorry, manage, add roles and features. We're gonna go next, next on this page. And next on this page as well. And then we're going to go ahead and find and select DHCP server. I'm going to add the features. Next. Next. And next, next. Restart if needed. Yeah. You know, click install. I'm going to speed up through this one so you guys don't have to wait. Complete DHCP configuration. We're gonna click next on this page. So we're gonna commit to this. Okay, so that's good to go. We're going to go ahead and close that. We're going to then, we're gonna go to tools and we're gonna go to DHCP. And now we're in the DHCP. So we're gonna move that over. We're gonna drop this down, go to IP version four. Right click, configure options, and then we're going to select DNS servers and put the DNS server IP, which is 192.168.1.2. And add it. It's just pointing to our domain controller, which is also our DNS server. Then we're going to select DNS domain name. Pleon.com, that's our domain. I'm going to click OK. Cool. So that's set up. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to right click, new scope. We're going to set up a new scope. We're going to click next, the wizard. And then we're going to type in pleon.com. Oh, I mean pleon, sorry. So that's going to be our scope name. And then, so enter the range of addresses that the scope distributes. So this is going to be the IP range that we're using. So it's 192.168.1.1. And then um, 192.168.1.25. Um, oops, sorry, tab over. That two five um, four, which is the IP range that we are allowed using this um, this class class C, uh, but we're not really going to use all of these ones. Anyways, we're going to click next, and then this is going to be the range that we're going to exclude. So I'm going to go ahead and exclude the ranges we already have um, reserved for our machines. So it's one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Um, and 192.168.1.0. We already used dot one, dot two, and dot three, but I'm doing dot 10 just in case I wanted to add any more machines and add them into this range. So that's going to be excluded from our DHCP reservations. So all of our other reservations that are going to be giving out to machines on our, on our network are going to be starting from dot 11 to like two, dot 254. Um, and it won't include the dot one, dot two, and dot three. So that way it doesn't mess anything up with the server that we already set up. We're going to click next, and then we're going to do, just click next on this one. We're going to click next on this one, if you want it now. I'm going to click next on this one. Oh, sorry, no. I'm going to do one, one or two dot one because this is our DHCP server, or our default gateway that's giving us our internet. So we're going to go ahead and add that one. I'm going to click next. I think on this one, what I'm going to do is remove these. I'm going to click next. 
it's next here we're not going to do anything click next and then we're going to finish so there we go we have our scope all right so we're done with our dhcp configuration for our lab setup in our next video i'm going to be creating a container for our configuration manager or sccm server and that one's going to be really cool too. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys have any comments, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to drop them down. If you want to go ahead and like the video or subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be posting more videos for this series, um, setting up the lab and also installing SCCM. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, have a good day. Bye.